guys, it's Blair, and thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a wash and go, and I'm going to be using two of my favorite products, so just stay tuned to see what I use. So today I used the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner for type 4 hair. And I also use the Wet Line Extreme Gel with the Navy Blue Top. Y'all, I love this gel so much, and I'm going to show y'all why I love it when I get to the video. But y'all, I like my hair being crunchy. Just because it's crunchy does not mean it's dried out. So don't let that be a thing in your mind. Because this leave-in conditioner helped prevent it from drying out. But I like mine to be a little bit crunchy so it'll last longer. And y'all already know how I feel about the Mio Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In. So I'm not going to go into detail on that. It's amazing, y'all. Stay tuned and watch the whole video. And as always, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. And share to your entire family, your friends. Your friends of the friends, everybody, y'all. All right, guys, right here, you can see me finger detangling through my section. Um, the white stuff you see on my hair is the Miel Organics Leave-In Conditioner. And you want to use your fingers versus like a styling comb or a dimming brush because you don't want to disturb your curl pattern. And your fingers typically are good enough to keep them nice and clumped together. So starting with the gel, you want to make sure you apply it to your hair in a rake-in slash smoothing method. Um, just wanting to make sure you can coat each and every strand so that your cuticle is smooth the whole way down. So one thing I love about the Wet Line Extreme Gel is how much it elongates your hair. Another method I like to do is the shingling method. And with that method, all you do is twirl your curl around your finger and it just helps for that curl to become more spiral and more clumped together. So if you look closely, you can see that these curls that I'm currently working on, they're like a whole different kind of texture. Like, I don't even, I can't even describe these curls. But you can see they don't spiral like the rest of my hair does. So the front of my hair is another location where my curls are a little bit more looser than the rest of them and another spot where I tend to always do the shingle method. So this is another very important step. Applying extra gel to your roots 
especially where your part is showing so you can make sure it does not get super duper like frizzy at the root. Now that we have the gel in my hair, I'm just gonna go sit underneath the dryer for about an hour and a half. So this is the next day after I sat underneath the dryer. Um, Y'all know that I have to stretch my hair or die. So I'm just stretching my roots out. Disregard the white part in my hair. I promise that's not flakes. I accidentally sprayed some deodorant in my hair by accident, so don't judge. <laughs> But can we get into the definition, though? Like, y'all, look at that. I love it. I truly love it. This is the comparison of them, like, being stretched. You see, this one's all kind of short. This one's really a little wet. But, um... And this side's a little bit longer and elongated. So let's just go to this side now. Y'all, the wet line extreme gel is so good. Like even when you stretch your hair out, the curl is still there. That is one of my reasons why I always use this gel for my wash and go. So this is the end result without being picked or anything. But y'all, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all try out my wash and go techniques. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.